a beautiful rainy day. A lot of people, I think, really dislike days like this when they're waiting for the sun to start shining for warm, beautiful days. But this, this is where it's at for me. It's peaceful. It's very peaceful. Random thought, but I hate putting myself in front of a camera. I really don't like it. I'm quite uncomfortable with it. Although I can make it happen. I have to push myself to, to do it. Um, whenever I get myself in front of a camera, it's like my thoughts that I want to share. Just I guess I get camera shy a little bit, which is interesting considering the fact that I used to perform on stage often. Um, I actually started in the theater world and dance at the same time. Um, it taught me a lot about life. Dance really does. Part of my issue with being on camera is that I don't know if, if I have a, a difficulty um, with kind of the speech, like, my, my mind knows what to say, but bringing it out verbally can be difficult. I'm just, I just get a little slow. Um, so, bear with me. So, uh, part of the reason why I don't like being on camera as well is I don't want my whole life being on display. I don't want to feel like it's an obligation for me to put myself in front of a camera to do something. Uh, become, it begins to become a little bit like uh, a performance of sorts, like I'm constantly performing it. And as much as I enjoy performance, I don't enjoy performing or feeling like I'm performing when it comes to things like my faith and thoughts that to me are can be very personal in sharing that with the world. But I wonder if that's what God wants me to do.
What does a solid relationship with God look like? A thriving, beautiful relationship with God. Does anyone know? Has anyone come close? Has anyone come close in recent history? Or was it just the apostles? just the apostles and I, I suppose some of the disciples of Jesus and no one else since. It's uh, quite an interesting thought. I'm not suggesting that no one has, has been there with God in an intimate relationship This is part of my difficulty with picking up my phone and filming myself is the world has, life has become like a stage, constantly performing to get people to like you, comment on your videos, like your pictures. I'm not saying that everyone is driven by the desire for people to, to like something. And some are. And I think many people just share things because they think it's cool. And it's their way of keeping up with people in the world. But I don't like when it becomes like a stage, like production. I'm very, very sensitive to that and very concerned about that. I even have trouble with that regarding my business, um, my painting business. Back to the relationship with God. What uh, does a thriving relationship look like with God? Is there a specific activity Is there a specific activity that you do to close to God. Is it prayer? Is it worship? That can bring up, those two things can bring up a lot of questions. Like, what is worship? And what is prayer? In my opinion, prayer can easily become a... almost a performance to God. him that you're really desperate for him. He'll give you what you want. Worship.
worship can be very similar. Because worship and prayer is very similar. You're still, you're worshiping. You're still speaking to God, or, or at least speaking about Him. But many songs, um, you're either praising Him, in my opinion, that's speaking of, more so speaking about who He is, and how wonderful He is. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee, how great Thou art, you know, singing about how great He is. And there's singing to him singing songs that are asking him things like I want to be closer with Worship isn't simply just singing, right? It's your daily, minute by minute, search for Him. Are we just one big performance for God. Kind of like the sacrifice, putting the lamb on the altar or something, the first fruits of your crop, giving it as an offering to God or a, some sort of sacrifice, hoping that he will be pleased. That can easily become performance-based. Even me potentially acting kind of somber and thoughtful could be some sort of performance that I'm putting on. Only, I guess only God knows and God knows the motives of your heart. God knows every thought. God cuts through everything with the sword of truth. He can reveal behind everything. Are there any other activities that you can do to grow closer to God? That's where I think you could draw the distinction between prayer and just talking to him. Are those two different things? Are they the same thing? Are there different sort of categories of prayer, such as some prayers are more like a list of requests to God? Jesus taught us how to pray. I don't think in reality when he was teaching the apostles how to pray, the disciples or whatever, how to pray, I don't I don't think it's just rambling off, you know, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. 
become like a mantra, you're just repeating something because it's what you do. In some churches, things can be kind of like that, very ritualistic, and I'm not putting that down, I'm just saying, I don't know if it's, I don't, I don't think that's our relationship. That's just some sort of activity. I'm pondering these thoughts and I'm putting it on camera. To share, but I'm tr I'm truly asking questions. What does a vibrant, wonderful relationship look like with God? I'm thinking... It comes down to... Honest. Truth reigning in your life. Being the absolute, completely most honest you can be with them. Asking him for your desires to align with his desires completely. And when you do that, you will be drawing closer to him. So, I'm going, I think I'm going to pray about this. Father, you know desires of our heart. You know where my heart is. You know that I how much you know exactly how much I want you and how desperate I am for you. You know the level of where I'm at. You know I've been feeling hot and cold some days. Some days I feel so like passionate. Some days I feel very cold. I just don't want to do it anymore. And that's a moment by moment thing as well, sometimes. God, I want, I want you to to a place for whatever it takes to grow close to you. For you to work 
to that within my life. us what to do. 